lecture three of four. Topic trigonometric functions. Subtopic seven point three solution of trigonometric equation. Learning outcomes. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to a solve trigonometric equations such as sin theta equals k, cos theta equals k, and tangent theta equals k. B solve equation in a quadratic form. Solve equation such as sin theta equals k, cos theta equals k, and tangent theta equals k. Example, find the value of theta, and this theta is from 0 until 360 degree. A, sin theta equals half, B, cos theta equals minus 1 over 4, C, tangent theta equals minus 2. Solution. A, sin theta equals half. Okay, normally we have to go to find the acute angle first. Acute angle is at sine half equals 30. And what we can observe here is this sign is positive. Sign positive in the first and also in the second quadrant. So this is should be sign theta equals half is situated in the first and also in the second quadrant so uh, the solution for this theta is 30 degree and 150 180 minus 30 degree from here so it's supposed to be here this is 30 30 degree so we have 30 degree and 150 degree secondly we go, we go to the cos theta equals minus 1 over 4 so we go to find the acute angle is at cos 1 over 4 75.5 and observe that our value minus 4 is minus so cos theta is minus so this is negative okay negative angle negative value so uh, cos negative is in the second quadrant and also in the third quadrant so our solution for this theta is 180 until this line 180 minus 75.5 and also from 0 until this line so we have 180 plus 75.5 so the answer is 104.5 degree and 255.5 degree C tangent theta equals minus 2. Okay, if your angle is at tangent 2. Okay, so we have here 63.4 degree. And you know that this tangent is negative. Tangent only positive in the first quadrant and also in the third quadrant. And it should be negative. Okay, tangent is negative. It should be in the second and in the fourth quadrant so this should be our acute angle okay now the solution for this tangent theta equals minus 2 is from here until this line that is 180 minus 63.4 degree then another one is from here 0 okay from 0 until this line this is 300 and 60 degree minus 63.4 degree so we have 116.6 degree and 296.6 degree example 2 
solve the following equations for angle in the range of uh, 0 and 360. Tangent to theta equals third 3. So as usual, we should go to find the acute angle. So arc tangent, arc tangent third 3 is 60 degree. And please notice that tangent is positive. Okay, this tangent is positive. So tangent positive must be in first and also the third quadrant. Okay, so we have like this in the first and also in the third quadrant. And 60 degree for the acute angle and in the, th in the third quadrant, 60 degree. And our theta, okay, initially we have from 0 until 360. And then now we are dealing with the tangent to theta. So we have to find the range of this tangent to theta first. So it must be this theta times 2 and this value 360 also have to be multiplied by 2, 7, 2, 0, oh, and 2 times 0, 0. And now we shall go to uh, find the solution. Okay. So what we can have now, we, please notice that our uh, maximum for this 2 theta is 7, 2, 0. Oh. Okay. So we should go, the first one is 60 degree. Okay. 2 theta equals 60 degree another one from here until here that is 180 plus 60 is 240 then another round okay this will be the first round 360 until here and then plus 60 we have 240 okay and another one we have one complete circle until here and then plus 240. So we have 600. Okay. And lastly, we will have theta as 30 degree divided by 260. Okay. 60 divided by 2, we have 30 degree. Okay. 240 divided by 2, we have 120 degree. 420 divided by 2, we have 210. And 600 divided by 2, we have 300. C cos 3x minus 75 degree equals 0 0.5. Solution. Cos 3x minus 75 equals 0 0.5. So we have to find the acute angle first. Of course, 0 0.5 is 60 degree. Cos 3x minus 75 is positive. So 3x minus 75 must be in the first and also in the fourth quadrant. Okay. X is given from 0 until 360 degree. So we have to uh, find a new range of this x according to this 3x minus 75. So it must be from 0, uh, from minus 75 until 1005 degree. So we will have here 3x minus 75 degree equals 60 degree. Okay. 60 degree and 300 from 0 until this line 360 minus 60 we have 300 then one complete circle until here one complete circle and then plus 60 degree so 360 plus 60 we have 420 and another one is 360 and then plus 300 we have 
round 660 degree and two complete circle okay plus 60 degree okay so we have, we have 780 degree so we have 3x 135 375 495 735 and 855 and x now will be 45 each one will be divided by 3 so we have 45 125 165 245 and 285. D cos 1 third X cos minus 0.2. Solution. So we go to find a Q angle. Q angle is up cos 0.2 is 78 degree 28 minute. X the range for this x is from 0 until 360 degree and we have to follow this is cos 1 1 over 3x so this one will be times 1 over 3 and 360 also divided by 3 we have 1 2 0 0, zero divided by 1 over 3 so we have 0 so we only have one part that is uh, initially cos negative is in the second and also in the third quadrant but then here 1 over 3x is from 0 until 120 it is somewhere in the second quadrant only okay it's not involved the third quadrant so therefore only second quadrant involved 78 degree 28 minute for the acute angle and we go to find 1 over 3, 180 minus 78 min degree, 28 minute. This is from uh, 0, from 0 until this line. So we have here uh, equals 101 degree, 32 minute. So therefore, x is 304 degree, 36 minute. E solve tangent theta equals two theta. I mean two sine theta. So theta from zero and the two pi. So you can notice that this theta must be in a radium form. Tangent theta equals two sine theta. We go to define the tangent. Go to define the tangent. We'll have here sine theta, sine theta over cos theta equals to sine theta. Okay, so we can go to cross multiply. So we have sine theta, then this cos times with two sine theta. So two sine theta cos theta. And then bring this sine to this side. So minus sine theta equals to equal to zero. So since we have sine theta, and also sine theta it occurs uh, twice so it can be taken outside to factorize we have sine theta so 2 sine theta minus 1 equals 0 from these two factors we can have now so therefore sine theta equals 0 equals 0 or cos theta equals half from here Okay, when sine theta equals zero, so our theta should be zero pi and two pi. So sine theta is zero, it is exactly on this x axis. Six axis, so we have zero is here, okay, here until pi and two pi, complete circle. So all brings us sine theta as zero. Now, now we go to the second part. The cos theta equals half. Okay, so acute angle. So up cos half is one over three pi. One over three pi is sixty degree. 
So we shall go to half now. Cos is positive. Is this is positive? Half is positive. Cos positive is sixty degree or one over three pi. So positive is in the first quadrant and also in the uh, fourth quadrant. So now we go to find a solution for this part. Theta as one over three pi from here until this line and another one is from here until this line so we have 2 pi minus 1 over 3 pi we have 5 over 3 5 over 3 pi so the solutions are we just go to combine the first part here and also the second part here so and we just go to arrange accordingly all this value from smaller to the bigger value 0 1 over 3 pi pi 3 over 5 over 3 pi and 2 pi solve equations in quadratic form in order to solve trigonometric equations such as 2 sine squared theta minus cos theta equals 0 and 4 cos squared theta plus 3 sine theta equals 4. So please notice that if this is sine should be square that another one here should be another trigonal function. So, so for this one if cos is squared and another one here must be sine. So we will reduce them to one or more of the form sine theta equals k, cos theta equals k, or tangent theta equals k, where k is a constant. By using one or more of the trigonometric identities, Example 1. Solve the following trigonometric equations for x is from 0 and the 360 degree. Solution. Okay, we have 6 cos square x plus cos x minus 2 equals 0. So what I can observe here is we have uh, cos square x and then this cos x. Okay, and uh, we will go to factorize this directly. So we have 2 cos x minus 1 times 3 cos x plus 2 equals 0. So we have cos x goes half from here, the first factor and the second factor, or cos x is minus 2 over 3. And we shall go one by one. If cos x goes half, okay, as usual, we go to find the acute angle. So it seems that our acute angle is 60 and cos is positive in its first and also in the fourth quadrant, positive. So x should be 60 degree from zero and this line and from zero until the second line here is 360 minus th uh, 60 we have 300 and then after this we go to the second value for the cost if cost goes minus 2 over 3 so you can notice that this cost is minus if it is minus cos is in the second and also in the third quadrant and we got uh, this is the value is minus 0 0.6627 okay just change from this uh, quotient form into decimal form so cos x is negative so theta must be lies in the second and the third quadrant and it seems that we have the acute angle from here at cos 2 over 3 
this is 48.18 degree and in the second quadrant the third quadrant also same value for the acute angle so therefore our x should be from here until this line is 131 degree 48 49 uh, minute and the, the second line for this cos x is from zero until the second line that is 180 plus 48.18 degree okay so we have 228 degree 11 minute so therefore i will ask the answer for the x is we have to combine this value and also uh, this value so all together so it will become 60 degree 130 degree 49 minute 228 degree 11 minute and 300 degree and then for cost 2 cost square I mean x cos 3 sine square x so we should go to use the identity okay or for this case it's easy for us to just uh, go to define sine theta okay sine theta square over cos theta square uh, i mean cos square x okay it is equals tangent square x equals 4 over 3 and then you go to find tangent x is plus minus third 4 over 3 this or equivalent to plus minus 1.155 if tangent x 1.155 you go to the positive value okay so this one also we have to go one by one to discuss for the tangent x okay this will be the first one but positive one per one five five and our x should be at tangent for one point one five five it is positive so in the second quadrant the first quadrant and also in the third quadrant so we have this value 49 degrees six minute and two to nine degree uh, six minute and then we go to tangent x goes to minus 1.155 the second value for tangent x okay tangent is negative tangent is negative is in the second quadrant and also in the fourth quadrant in the second quadrant we'll have here uh, one, 130 degree 54 minutes and 310 degree 54 minutes and lastly of course we have to go to um, combine these two values here okay the second part and also in the first part all together so we have like this value okay we have this value we have four types of the angles now we move on to another uh, feature of the quadratic equation for trigo function 2 sine square theta plus 5 cos theta plus 1 cos 0 and this theta is from 0 until 360 degree solution so as you can observe this function we have sine square here and here is cos theta so now we can go to use definition or i mean um, we go to find what we call this as uh, sine square plus cos square equals one okay sine square plus cos square equals one the identity the first identity in trigo so 1 minus cos square theta plus 5 cos 
theta plus 1 equals 0. Then next is to go to simplify this equation. So we will have 2 cos square theta minus 5 cos theta minus 3 equals 0. Then after that, so we can go to uh, factorize directly. Then we will have like this 2 cos theta plus 1 times cos theta minus 3 equals 0. And the first one will be uh, cos theta equals minus half. And another one is cos theta equals 3, which is no solution for the second part of the cos theta. Cos theta equals minus half. Okay, we go to refer to the first part. So it is equals minus cos 60. So cos negative is in the uh, second and also in the third quadrant. Okay, so what we can see here is cos is negative. So theta is less in the second and so in the third quadrant. And so we'll have theta as 120. It is from uh, 0, starting from 0, okay, until this line. And another one is from 0 until the second line. So this is why we have 120, okay, from 180 minus 60, or one, uh, 180 plus 60, 240 degree. Express sine theta, cos theta, tangent theta in terms of t, where t is defined as tangent half theta. Tangent two theta is two tangent theta over one minus tangent square theta. So therefore, Tangent theta is to tangent half theta over 1 minus tangent square half theta. Okay? By using t as tangent theta, a uh, half theta, so we will have like this. Okay? Uh, 2 tangent, so tangent theta is 2 times tangent half theta is t so we have t here to t over 1 minus t square for the tangent theta so we go to uh, use this theta as the angle so tangent theta is 2 t over 1 minus t square it is from this equation so definitely our hypotenuse must be 1 plus t square. Okay? So now we can define our tangent as 2t over 1 minus t square. And cos theta is cos theta is 1 minus t square over 1 plus t square for the cos. And for sine is 2t. This is 2t over 1 plus t square. Okay, t as tangent half theta. Example 1. Solve the equation 3 cos x minus 8 sin x equals minus 2 by using the t sub substitution for x is from 0 until 360 degree solution let t equals to tangent x over 2 whenever we are using this t substitution or t equals tangent x over 2 this should be our triangle or right angle triangle that we have to use in order to get all the values for the three sides so tangent x over 2 so 
we will get tangent x is 2t over 1 minus t square. Okay, we are using tangent tangent x equals 2t over 1 minus t square. For sine x, 2t over 1 plus t square. And for the cos x, we have 1 minus t square over 1 plus t square. The equation 3 cos x minus 8 sin x goes minus 2. So what we have to do, we just go to substitute. 2t over 1 minus t square. And the rest into this equation. Okay, so for the cos x, 3 cos x, so we are going to use this 1 minus t square over 1 plus t square. And for sine here, we are going to use 2t over 1 plus t square. What next to do is just go to simplify. And we will get like this. Okay, so we have um, in the denominator part here and also here. Okay, we will bring this to this side. So, so we have minus 2 minus 2 t square. And lastly, we have this uh, equation after we simplify everything. So we have t squared plus 16t minus 5 equals 0. So we can use the formula. Okay, we have uh, minus 16 plus minus 16 square minus 4ac. Okay, this is will be the b square, 16b uh, square minus 4ac, 4 times minus 4, so plus 20 over 2 times 1. And then we have two values for it, so we have to consider both. The t is actually, we define just now is as um, tangent x over 2. So we go to use tangent x over 2 here, and then it goes the first one, 0 0.3066. Then get the value at tangent for 0 0.3006. 0 0.3066, so we have 17.05 degree. And we go to calculate this x times 2. And now we consider, we go to consider the, the, the next one. This is tangent. Half x, half our x. So up tangent at 16.3066, we have 93.51. Okay, as so a few steps are hidden here, but you can refer from the previous lesson. Okay, how to get this value. So x over 2 is uh, 93.15, and then x is times this together times 2. Okay, so we have the value of 187. So these two values should be our last answer. Example 2. Solve the equation 5 tangent theta plus secant theta plus 5 equals 0 for values of theta in from uh, 0 degree until 360 degree by using t equals tangent half theta. Solution. Let t as tangent half theta. So, we will have tangent theta as 2t over 1 minus t square, sine theta as 2t over 1 plus t square, and cos theta is 1 minus t square over 1 plus t square. Since we need the info of secant theta, so we have to find this theta, a secant theta. So, secant is 1 over cos. So, we have 1 over cos and 1 plus 1 plus t square 
over 1 minus t square and t square is not 1. So, we will put all this info into this equation. 5 tangent theta plus secant theta plus 5 equals 0. We just go to substitute the value of tangent theta and also secant theta plus 5 equals 0. And this is to uh, after we have done the uh, sim simplify. So when it is already simplified, then we will have minus 4t squared plus 10t plus 6 equals 0. Okay, so we divide by 2, so we have 2t squared. Okay, 2t squared uh, minus 5t minus, minus 3 equals 0. Then we go to factorize. Okay, and we will get the value for the t. T, we have 3 or t equals minus half. Then, we have to go to each one of this to solve and to get the answer for the theta. So, tangent half theta, because t just now is defined as tangent half theta. So, we will have from here uh, t equals 3 and substituted by tangent theta over 2 equals 3. And so for this tangent, half theta equals minus half. And now, given that theta is from 0 until 360 degree, so we have to reshuffle the value, the theta, uh, the, the value of this theta. So that is when theta is half. So we will have from 0 until... 180 and for tangent theta, half theta equals 3 you have half theta equals 71 degree 34 minutes or theta equals 143 degree 8 minute then we shall now consider the second one since tangent half theta equals minus half okay and then half theta is 153 degree 26 minutes so therefore our theta should be 306 degree 52 minutes Next, we'll move on to the example 3. By substituting t as tangent half x, solve each of the following equation for x in between 0 and 2 pi. a, 1 minus sine x, okay, equals 2 cos x. b, 2 sine x plus 3 cos x equals 3. Solution. Tangent x equals to 2 tangent half x, okay, over 1 minus tangent square half x. And we will get this tangent x as 2t, because t just now is defined as tangent half x. So we will have 2t over 1 minus t square. Once we have this, so we can sketch to help us to find the rest of the trigger function for half angle. Okay, so since here we have the tangent 2x over 1 minus t square, and definitely our, our hypotenuse is 1 plus t square. And now we get to, uh, we go to get the sine, t, sine x goes to 2t over. 2t over 1 plus t square and the next one is uh, cos x because 1 minus t square this is 1 minus t square over the hypotenuse 1 plus t square okay after having done the sine x and cos x we will put these two uh, trigger function into a 1 minus sine x equals 2 cos x. 
So just substitute, send x as 2t over 1 minus t squared. And so for the cos, and the next we have that to have to, uh, to do is just to go to simplify as usual. All right, so we can cross multiply. And last three we will have like this. Uh, 1 plus t squared minus 2t equals 2 minus 2t squared. And we have here 3t squared. Okay, minus 2t minus 1 equals 0. The next step is just to factorize the cushion just now. So we have 3t plus 1 times t minus 1 equals 0. And uh, since this equals 0, we can uh, equate each factor to 0. And we have t as 1 minus 1 over 3, and this t equals 1. Okay, now remember that you have to get the value for this x, not the t. Okay, x, the question asks us to solve. And then, then we'll go to find uh, tangent half x goes to minus 1 over 3. So we have x as x over 2 as 161.6 for tangent half x goes 1. So we have x, x uh, over 2 is 40, 45. Alright, and then just go to times 2 each one so you get this will be the last answer. Okay, and okay, since our interval of the, uh, x just now is in terms of radian, so therefore our last answer should be in radian form. Okay, so pi over 2 for 90 degree and 3.1 change it to radian so we have 5.639 okay b 2 sin x plus 3 cos x equals 3 so we just put uh this substitution for sin x and cos x so we have 2 times 2t over 1 plus t square plus 3t at uh, 3 times cos x 1 minus t square over 1 plus t square equals 3. Then we have to go to simplify. Okay, and then we have like this. And lastly, we have uh, 3t square minus 2t equals 0. And since we have t in common, so we can take out this outside to factorize. So we have t times. 3t minus 2 equals 0. So therefore, we have t as 0. And the other one is t o equals 2 third. And we go to find tangent half x equals 0 or tangent half x equals 2 third. Okay. Okay. Um, x over 2. The arc tangent 0 is 0 and also 160 degree. Okay. Uh, we cannot consider 360 because x over 2 must be uh, from 0 and 180. Okay. For tangent x over 2, okay, we have uh, 33.69 and uh, x goes, this is x, huh? this is x over 2 until 180 degree only so x is 0 and 360 and for this x we will have 67.4 thus x we have th three values for it okay combine these two parts we have three value and we have to change it this is 0 and 1.176 radian and 2 pi. Example 4. If t equals tangent 15, show that t square plus 2, so 3t minus 1 equals 0. Solution. And um, 2t square, uh, tangent x equals 2t x over 2 over 1 minus tangent square x over 2. So we can let 
x as 30 degree so tangent 30 degree goes to tangent 15 okay and 1 minus tangent square x over 2 is also uh, tangent square 15 so this one is actually okay 15 degree because we have 30 30 divided by 2 this is okay 15 degree okay t as tangent 15 so we have tangent 30 is 2t over 1 minus t square and uh, tangent 30 is 1 over 3 equals 2t over 1 minus t square and we can cross multiply and lastly we have 1 minus t square equals 2 3 t and then you can bring, bring this to everything to the right hand side so you have t square plus 2 3 t minus 1 equals 0 so proved Example 5. By using t as tangent x over 2, solve the equation. Okay, solve the equation uh, 9 cos x equals 3 minus 7 sin x for angles between 0 and 360 degree. Solution If t equals to tangent half x. So we will have cos x as 1 minus t square over 1 plus t square sin x we have 2t over 1 plus t square and it can be they can be input this cos x and sin x into the equation and cos x cos 3 minus 7 sin x okay and then we have like this and now we go to simplify again so we have like this lastly and 3t plus 1 2t minus 3 equals 0 to factorize it then we'll get t as minus 1 third or t equals to 3 over 2 and then tangent half theta equals to minus 1 third or tangent half x equals to 3 over 2 and this x must be between 0 and 360 so therefore for the x over 2, we will have a new range of uh, value or the degree. So, from 0 until 180. Okay, so we have two. The first one is um, x over 2. Okay, this one is for uh, minus 1 over 3. And this one for 3 over 2 for this part okay and uh, this one the first one here is for this part and then we go to simplify and then x as 112.6 degree and 323.1 degree example 6 by using t as tangent half x prove that a 1 over sin x plus 1 over tangent x is 1 over tangent x over 2. B, 1 plus cos x over 1 minus cos x because cos square x over 2. Okay, this one should be x over 2. Okay, we go to the first one, A. 1 over x plus 1 over tangent x. Okay, we know already that if it is t is uh, tangent half x, so we will have this uh, 2t over 1 plus t square for the sine x. Okay, and this one is for the tangent x. This one is for sine x. What next to do is we will go to so we have like this okay so we will have one one reciprocal for this part so we have one plus t square over two 
okay over 2 and then this is plus and then plus this one will be 1 minus t square over 2 so if like this and then lastly we'll have 1 over t 2 over this one will be cancelled and 1 plus 1 is 2 2 over 2, 2 t is 1 over t and then what is t just now tangent x over 2 so proved Okay, we go to this uh, second question. So we go to define the left hand side 1 plus, plus cos x over 1 minus cos x. Okay, so we have 1 plus minus t over uh, 1 minus t square. Okay, over 1 plus t square for the cos uh, below here 1 minus cos x. We have like this. And we have to go to simplify. Seems that we have um, uh, over here the the num the numerator itself. Also, we have to simplify, so we will have one plus t square common denominator. So one plus t square plus one minus t square. Simplify that one. Okay, and below here we will have this one. Okay, find the common denominator. Also, this is one plus t square. Okay, and then 1 plus t square up here minus 1 minus minus plus t square. So you have to be very careful when it is involved minus. Okay. Now we go to simplify. You can see this 1 over t square and so 1 over t square can be cancelled. Up here, this is t square minus t square will be uh, cancelled. So uh, up here we have 2 only. And below here we have one this one minus one and so one cancelled so we have 2t square down here is 2t square so we have like this so what is uh, can be simplified as 1 over t square t square just now t is defined as tangent so tangent square and then 1 over tangent is what chord so chord square x over 2. So this is uh, right hand side. So